If karma is real the universe is telling me I'm at fault. 25-year relationship where I thought I was with my soulmate and love of my life and believed him every time he told me the same. Two years since D-Day when it became clear my ex's relationship with a younger co-worker was not innocent. He still denies that it was an affair. One year since attempted reconciliation. In quotes because it was only me trying desperately to keep our family together while he lied about continuing to see her, missed dates with me, lied to me, my kids and our therapist and used me to pay for everything for the kids so he could financially support her, my daughter found proof of this. Eight months since the divorce was final. He now lives with her. They travel all the time when he told me travel was a waste of money. He spends weekends with her family and tells our kids how wonderful she and they are. That he's never been happier. That I was a horrible wife who made him so unhappy even though I was the main breadwinner, main housekeeper, main child care provider and spent every second I could with him telling him how much I appreciated him. It apparently meant nothing but she is everything he ever wanted. My kids hate her. I tried to be diplomatic at first and encourage they give her a chance to try to make the transition as easy on them as possible but they insist that any woman who knowingly pursues a married man with two kids doesn't even attempt to speak to the ex or them before she moves in, he didn't even tell them he was moving her in. They come home after being with me and she's just there one day, and is now whining about how him spending time with his kids is diminishing their relationship doesn't deserve their time or respect. My ex blames me entirely for this saying I must be filling their heads with lies but they are 14F and 18M. They aren't dumb. My life has completely fallen apart since he left. The kids yell at me all the time because they don't feel comfortable talking to their dad about how unhappy they are. My daughter was diagnosed with a heart condition and potentially PTSD because her dad minimized her symptoms and told her it was all in her head and is now taking off without telling them where he is going all the time. I am struggling at work and potentially losing my job due to contract issues. My son is struggling since graduating high school and I am working like crazy to get him set up in life while his dad actively works against me. I had emergency surgery because my brain randomly started bleeding and am now struggling to pay the hospital bill. The doctors have no idea why it didn't kill me and my ex could not have cared less which devastated me. He told the kids it wasn't a big deal so they are still angry with him when I was rushed to the hospital and he chose that time to fight with my daughter over her wanting to stay at my house to feel closer to me instead of with him. And I was rear-ended and both insurances are not claiming responsibility so I can't get my car fixed without paying myself. I am taking this as a clear sign that I am the problem. His life is going great and mine is an absolute train wreck. I was barely holding it all together after the brain surgery. Being told I will probably lose my job then getting in the wreck have destroyed me. I am actually angry that the brain bleed didn't kill me as I am now left alive and alone to be tortured further. I feel I must have been the worst wife ever if he is so much happier with this woman who mistreats my children and he would rather yell at them or ignore them over letting her go. That I must be so worthless and disposable if I can pour absolutely everything into our relationship and family for 25 years and he doesn't even miss me. If karma is real it is making it painfully clear I'm the one who messed up.